every morning with drive Been on the grind, know I had to survive We had to win Started from the dirt and the rubble I had to be the needle that was popping your bubble Letting Hello and welcome into the Rookie Prospect Profile Series This is a Zilla Fantasy Elite production Thanks for tuning in and smash that subscribe button if you've been enjoying these Rookie Prospect Profiles videos. We love bringing them to you. Today we're going to be looking at running back Isaiah Davis in both the RStudio model and the neural network model for running backs. Isaiah Davis was drafted number 173 overall by the New York Jets. Uh, they were actually the second running back that they drafted after Braylon Allen. Uh, who we saw earlier very good profile there go check him out if you can but uh yeah so isaiah davis actually he played college football for south dakota state so a smaller school there maybe perhaps why he was forgotten about until later in the draft looking at his physical traits he's 218 pounds pretty healthy there six foot exactly 29.6 bmi which is a halfway decent ran a four five seven in the 40 yard dash would like to see that a little bit faster but gave us an even 100 overall for a uh, speed score so we put these numbers along with some of his college stats into the r studio model and we get a pretty healthy 14.354 uh, prospect score which means he's probably a pretty solid running back in terms of rushing the ball um, that is ranked 103rd overall out of the 327 running backs in the R Studio Models database. That's the 68th percentile at 68.5%. Getting to those closest comparables, we see Ty Montgomery as the closest score. The next five above him in our prospect studio are Andre Brown, Brian Hill, Maurice Jones Drew, Kenneth Dixon, and Zach Moss. The next four below him. Duke Johnson, Tavon Austin, Samaj Pirine, Aaron Jones, and Matt Jones. I do really like the uh, Aaron Jones and Duke Johnson uh, comps for him here. I think he could profile as somebody that could give you some pretty solid uh, fantasy production if given the opportunity. Problem is, do they get any opportunity playing for the Jets? We saw Israel Abanacanda last year basically do nothing uh, after having Delvin Cook and Brees Hall there. Uh, they still have Brees Hall, and then they drafted Braylon Allen ahead of him. They still have Israel Abanacanda from last year, and now they draft Isaiah Davis. Not exactly sure what they're doing, but he's an injury away from being two injuries away from being relevant uh, from the looks of it for the most part. All right, let's switch now to that machine learning model for Isaiah Davis and see what we see in the neural network model. And actually, surprisingly, we see it really likes him. Um, he's one of those really low floor but high ceiling guys. Uh, you can see the ranks there. 22nd ranked minimum score down there at 5.26, you know, bottom 10 basically in the class in terms of the minimum score that he could have if given opportunities. But if he's given opportunities, we see some of those scores in the top four, 75th and 90th percentile ranks in the top four. Maximum rank, 17.3 um, is his maximum output according to the model. And uh, that does rank number eight in the class. So pretty healthy there. Mean and median at 11.92 and 12.03. Uh, fifth best in the class suggesting, hey, if this guy gets opportunities, he may be a very, very good player. It's probably somebody that you're going to want on your dynasty rosters. Very good R Studio model score. Very good in the neural network. I think those two things could equal some fantasy success for Isaiah Davis. Again, if he's given the opportunities, I just don't see where that's going to happen, especially during his rookie contract there in New York without several injuries in front of him. Kind of unfortunate. But let's go look at the mean and median scores. Who was hovering right around the 12 fantasy points per game for their career best and see what kind of names we have in that range. In between 11.94 and 12.3, we have Chase Edmonds, J.D. McKissick, Tavon Austin, Javante Williams, Naheem Heinz, Zach Moss, Mike Tolbert, Rashad Penny, Joseph Randall, Devin Singletary, and Bilal Powell. Actually, Javante Williams might be a pretty good comp there. He has maxed out at 12.05 so far in his career in terms of PPR fantasy points per game. Getting into... His ceiling output of 17.3, I'm 
assuming we're going to see some pretty good names up in that range. Uh, we are getting up into the top 50 range here for the last 11 uh, NFL seasons and the running backs hitting their career best during that time. So in between 16.8, 17.4, we have Shane Vereen, Ryan Matthews, Trent Richardson, Eddie Lacy, Brees Hall, Reggie Bush, Deion Lewis, James White, Nick Chubb, Devon Achan last year, and Mark Ingram. That is a list of people that you would definitely like on your fantasy teams, uh, all scoring in the 17 fantasy points per game range, which is an RB1 overall uh, in most seasons. You know, you're looking at probably mid range RB1 output there, maybe sometimes uh, upper range RB1 depending on the season. So he's got a pretty solid season or pretty solid ceiling there. Uh, it should be interesting to watch him. Uh, we did see, I think, Tavon Austin in his median outcome and both in the R Studio model. So kind of an interesting prospect here, Isaiah Davis, somebody I'm certainly willing to take a flyer on at some point. But I might leave them for year one unless I come across some sort of, hey, Braylon Allen's injured or Israel Banacan is injured. And we know this guy is going to maybe suit up on game day. Otherwise, if he's not going to suit up, uh, might be somebody that I pick up, you know, in the off season heading into the next season and hoping for the best in terms of him getting playing time in the next season. And hopefully the R Studio model that we saw and the machine learning model uh, give you a, a boost of confidence to go ahead and draft Mr. Isaiah Davis uh, at some point during his career. It certainly looks like if given opportunities, this guy will succeed. Uh, that's going to do it for today's Rookie Prospect Profile on Isaiah Davis. This is presented by Zilla Fantasy Elite. Thanks for tuning in. Bye.